In this video, I'm going to show you how you can hack the three computers during the clock in Bell finale in just a matter of seconds. There are two potential combinations for stealth approach and two potential combinations for the aggressive approach. So this is how you do it. Let's start by calling the computers A, B, C, and D. This will work so much better while in first person, as not only does it make it easier to navigate the tight corridors, but you can see the hacking device the whole time. Let's look at stealth first. When you come out of the office, always turn left and head to computer B. If this is the first one you need to hack, then the next one will be at C, and then the furthest one at A. In real time, it will look like this. It's safe to assume you didn't read the manual for the hacking device you picked up, correct? Well, I did, and it's simple. Just find the strongest signal, and it should jump on the connection. Remember, there are multiple connections. You need to hack each one before you have the code. If the first computer is not B, then it will be at computer A. That means that the next two will be computer D, and then B. This is what this looks like in real time. It's safe to assume you didn't read the manual for the hacking device you picked up, correct? Well, I did, and it's simple. Just find the strongest signal, and it should jump on the connection. Remember, there are multiple connections. You need to hack each one before you have the code. Now, by the time you make it back to the office, the code will be visible to you while in first person, making it much quicker to see it and then hack the safe. The safe's code should show up on the hacking device. Now, let's look at the aggressive approach layout. Now when you leave the office, head right and go to D. If it's this one, the next one will be at B and then C. This is what it looks like in real time. Well, I did and it's simple. Just find the strongest signal and it should jump on the connection. If you're seeing blue, keep going in that direction. Red, you're off course. You hack one of the computers and find the other connections and if the first one is not at D, then it will be the same combination as one from the stealth approach, which is B, C, then A. In real time, it looks like this. To retrieve the safe code from the computer, you'll need to secure multiple signals from the hacking device. Lucky for you, I read the instructions. It should turn blue when you point it towards one of the right spots. So now you can hack all three computers in around 15 seconds. You waste my fucking time, you're gonna fucking pay! Come on! So give this a go and let me know how you got on. If you found this video useful, please drop it a like and subscribe for the best GTA guides on the internet. Here are some other videos you may also enjoy. I'm Beats Down, and I'll see you in the next one.